My sister speaks highly of you, though I'm yet to be convinced that a Gaijin can offer anything but disappointment. Perhaps you could help deal with the situation that has me at a disadvantage. Of course, failure has its own disgrace. A Yakuza Kanbu is in custody awaiting transfer for trial. He is a valued member of the family. Break him out of custody and get him to the dojo at Bedford Point. Across the street. 
street at a fast food restaurant. And it's all because of video games. Laszlo, life does not have a reset button. Right, but this show does. Ah, I love that button. You know, it's never a dull moment on this show, especially if you're in our key demographic. Love Media, bringing people and the finest in entertainment together. All right, hello, next caller. You're on Chatterbox. I want to talk about that tag stuff. Say it's tag. It's not bad to you at all. Why aren't you talking? Wait, you're up straight. Wait on the air. Hello? It's me, Pansy. What's your question? Bank, 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 bank. What about it? I mean, that's not really a question. Questions usually start with words like how and why. And they end with your voice going up like this. Don't mind. You're just going to call the rest. How's that? All right, it's evil, dude. And toothpaste, they use it to control... It is impossible to overestimate the importance of etiquette in this line of work. To my eternal shame, a man once did me a favor, and I have never had the opportunity to repay his kindness. The man's weakness is mother cards, and yet requested that we acquire him certain models for his collection. Needless to say, we must give him the cards as a gift to repay the debt that I owe him. You must obtain the cards on this list and deliver them to a garage behind the car park in Newport. My honor demands it. Ask your doctor about Equinox today. Equinox may cause nausea, loss of sleep, blurred vision, which can problems in the world. It's not the Equinox if you're operating in a machine, you're driving a car, and you're a job, and you're not your family, you're just doing disorders. Equinox, softening life's harsh rehab. Tonight, the TV event that will make history, Liberty City Survivor. This takes reality TV to a whole new level. We'll take 20 recently paroled guys, equip them with grenade launchers and flamethrowers, and let them hunt each other down. It's the reality show where you just might be part of the action. I was grabbing a sandwich at the Happy Blimp, and all of a sudden these guys crashed through the window and started shooting at each other. I was so excited, I didn't even notice I'd been hit. After that, I was hooked on Liberty City Survival. I watch it every day in the hospital. The game doesn't end until there's only one man left standing. Tune in nightly or watch the 24-hour live webcast. <laughs> Liberty City Survivor. Natural selection has come home. It's sponsored by every nation. All right, we're back on Chatterbox. You are on Chatterbox. Yeah, you were talking about short guys and attitudes. Well, you know, you'd have an attitude, too, if you couldn't reach the friggin' cheese world at the grocery store. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it seems like the whole world's against you. I mean, you know, we're not talking about you. What kind of egomaniac are you? You got your own show. How about letting other people talk for a change? We're all the same, you giant. Oh, I'm so all. I'm so important. Listen to me talk about my tall stuff. I think I'll put this on the top shelf. Hey, what's the weather like down there? How's it going, short stuff? Can you get that? You're closer. Why so sad, people? shootings in this country. Mm. Really wrong. My father worked his whole life. He played the lottery. And 
now the state wants to pay taxes on the money you win from that stuff? Buy your own lottery tickets. You know? Oh, hey. Good point. I think that's a lesson to us all. All right. Hello, you are on Chatterbox. Hello, lads. I'm a first-time caller. I recently moved to the city from Hampshire, England. Oh, really? How do you like it? I mean, is it hard to get used to the language? You, you speak English pretty good. Oh, thank you, Nazareth. Yes, yes, I, I do like it here. There's one thing, though, that's, that's very different from other worries. When I was a boy in England, I had a nanny. She was very cute, Nazareth. Yeah, well... I because he advertises on this radio station. Remember... It can be the difference between achieving your dreams... Hey, I just won the Nobel Peace Prize! ...and not. Oh, wonder for asking something to that. More Americans are realizing if you don't have the latest and greatest technological devices, you will fall behind. I didn't upgrade my personal organizer, and two days later I was diagnosed with a terminal illness. <laughs> That's exactly why you should come visit the friendly people at House of Tomorrow, and they'll set you up with all your 21st century technology needs. I only spent $20,000, and now I can get email in the shower or surf the internet while I'm driving. I was bored stupid at my daughter's recitals and my son's Little League games. Now, thanks to House of Tomorrow, I can play wireless head-to-head -head 3D virtual reality polka literally anywhere. If it's a flash in the pan technology of absolutely no use to any... also be like a brothel. The woman, she must be many, many arts. Be skilled in making house, cooking, changing the diapers on the babies. And she must also be a whore. A vixen in the bedroom. Imaginative, exotic, constantly. It is impossible. You change diapers and then you are a French maid? Fernando thinks not. Fernando knows not. Well, I mean, you know, it's an age-old problem. I mean, how do you keep the excitement in America? Excitement? Excitement? When trouble looms, the fool turns his back, while the wise man faces it down. The Colombian cartel have ignored repeated requests to leave our interests in liberty well alone. Now they are negotiating terms with the Jamaicans in order to humiliate us further. They are finalizing a deal across town. Take one of my men, steal a yardy car, and go pay your respects to the Colombians. Our honor demands that you leave no one alive! Hypothetically, you make me all personal. 
is a bit different. If I say, imagine if your wife was ugly, you can nod your head. But if I say, hey, that look, your wife, she looked like yesterday's dinner after I eat. You're not so happy. It's a bit different. Anyway, the marriage is impossible, that's right. If a man was born an angel, maybe it's possible. But a man is born a man. And a man with knees. He needs a woman to tuck his babies into the bed. But for his bed, he needs something else. Something magical. So he starts flirting with the secretary, takes her out for a drink. One thing leads to another, and before you know it, he's found all kinds of uses for the office furniture. Exactly, Laszlo. I know what you are like. I see it in your eyes. A woman, a dreamer, a man who has needs, but an idiot. And I can save you. And I can save you. My marriage doesn't need saving. Hey, do anyone mention the radio system and... Judge. Hey, but now, I think we see by now you are no angel. I can save you. For when the man, he sees his wife all fat, all ugly, with the dirty diapers and the dirty pants and the scrubby brush, and who knows what else. He's not thinking marriage bank. He's thinking about, well, you thinking about your pretty assistant. We already know that, see? And uh, go on. But Laszlo, what if you act on your fantasy for your little secretary with this red skirt and the pretty eyes and the couple of other, they're smiling. What then, my friend? What then? Um, I get a sexual harassment suit. If you are lucky, man. But you, more likely, your marriage is ruined. Your sweetheart, she hates you. Your pretty secretary, she wants you to be her man. You back it to square one. My friend, you and a thousand men like you. For me, once it was so. But then one day, I was driving my car, and I realized, Fernando, you are blessed. You are a miracle. A thousand miracles roll into one. You save the marriage, and you save the man. You don't put the marriage first, but you don't put the man first. Maybe you call it man. Can I take rest of No, this is a bad name. It sounds really dumb. Then I think we call it Fernando's New Beginnings. Because that is what it means. A new beginning, Laszlo. So, how does this work? It is a miracle, Laszlo. A miracle. A man is a good father, a loving husband, the winner of bread, six and a half days a day. On the spare half day, I save his life. How? By giving him what he needs. Oh, Give him passion. <laughs> what, with you? That kind of sounds like a limited mark. You are very prejudiced. I don't like that. But no, not with me. Passion for life. Passion for love. Passion for women. Which he can take home to his wife. What, so you act like a pimp? Not a pimp, little man. A savior. In a control environment, I reintroduce the man to the pleasure he has lost. To the miracles of the world. And truly, the results are remarkable. With my unique counseling, a thousand marriages have been saved, and a million more could be saved every day. <laughs> and, and do the wives know about this? In their hearts, Laszlo, they know they have been saved. Uh, okay. We're gonna open it up to the phones. If you've got any questions for Fernando Martinez, exotic marriage guidance made easy, ring us now. Hey, oh, cool, we have a caller on line one. Caller, you are on Chatterbox. Hi, Laszlo. Hey, Fernando. My name's Jerry, and I'm a first-time caller. And I just wanted to say, hey, Laszlo, you're real tough on Fernando back there. I'll tell you one thing. He's a miracle worker. He saved my marriage, and I married a bus of a woman. Now I don't feel sick every time I open my eyes. See, Laszlo? You see? I remember Jerry so well. He come in, he is like a broken man. Like a half a man. A man, if you will. He has no end anymore. And his marriage, it is killing him. Where is the passion? She is gone. Replaced by ugliness. You see, Laszlo, Mrs. Jerry, she's not a pretty lady. She's more like an offensive lion or a tight end. Big and hairy. But first thing, she gives Jerry five kids. But she's even bigger. Now, she's like a whole offensive lion. He feels no pride in himself. He has no pride in his marriage. He is ashamed of this wonderful lady who bears him so many young. And he comes to me and he cries, Fernando, save my marriage. I love my wife, even though she is a fat worker. And I say, Jerry, you are a man. It is a man's duty to love his wife, even if she is like a farmer. And now, Jerry is saved. By sleeping with other women. Whatever it takes to save a woman. 
A beautiful union by a, an adulterer and Queen Kong. That, that's great. So, uh, who's on the line now? Hi, Laszlo. This is Janet. I love the show and always wanted to call in. You really offended me today. Who is this gutter trash you got on the show? Hey, Janice, I share your anxiety. The studio kind of forced him on. Hey, you watch yourself, Mister. And you, yes. Why are you so ugly? Your husband, he don't make you happy? No, he's an idiot. And a jerk. But he's probably a good daddy. about like a ninny waiting for your privates to go blue? I was born naked and I'm gonna die naked. <laughs> and all shriveled up by the sound of things. Winter was invented by... Or, or when you're working on a building. We're not swingers. 
It's not about success. It's about being one with the world. All right, dude. Groovy. Hug a rainbow. It's time for a public service announcement from Donald Love. Hello, I'm Donald Love. Under my guidance, Love Media has emerged in the fastest growing U.S. run media conglomerate in the last five Get years. With newspapers, television, and radio stations across the U.S. and the world, alongside a wide array of industrial and technology interests, we at Love Media ensure you get the truth behind the story every time. From films to dog food, from radio to pop music, you can be sure of independent, quality led broadcasting every time you tune in. That's why we're the fastest growing cable supplier and health insurance provider in the Northeast and why our new satellite in China is something all Americans can be proud of. Here at Love Media, we are proud of what we have done to help America and to help hard-working Americans relax. For investment opportunities or information about our new interactive television service, please go to www.lovemedia.tv. To be truly strong, it is important that you never show weakness. The businesses fortunate enough to have our protection settle their accounts today. Go and collect the money immediately so we can enter it into the casino accounts. He learned. Now he brings his mother lunch to bed every day so she can sleep in. lawyers and whatever I, you know I can't be bothered to argue with I can't pay you and I wouldn't pay you if I could some young gang just tracked up the place they took everything you guys are useless what kind of Yakuza are you anyway We lost little Joey in the back and couldn't find him for an hour. When I'm rushing to the mall or talking on my cell phone, I know me and my family are safe. The Maibatsu monstrosity has four-wheel drive, and in amphibious mode, it can cross rivers. So far, I've only had a few. With the time I save taking shortcuts through the strip mall parking lot, I can focus on the important things, like gazing longingly at the pool boy or buying more exercise equipment off the TV. So what if it gets three miles to the gallon? I'm a mom, not a conservationist. The new my Batsu monstrosity. Mine is bigger. Would you like a giraffe? Have one delivered. Just log on to PetsOvernight.com and we'll send you a giraffe overnight. PetsOvernight.com. Delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. All right, you are listening to Chatterbox, hosted by me, Laszlo, because I got kicked off the rock station. Let's go over here and talk to somebody about their life. Hello, caller, you're on the air. Hi, Leslie. My name is Martha. I just love your show. I always listen to you when I'm getting my home interrogated. I just wanted to say something about you. 
And the name's Laszlo. I know Leslie. I'm a regular listener. Well, I don't. For. What, what's your rally about? It's about justice, Mr. Lowe. A chance to shine and make a difference. About thousands of people walking side by side as brother marches. 